Dajjal is created by Allah and programmed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is programmed to impersonate the true messiah who is the true messiah the true messiah is the son of Mary not the son of a Punjabi woman that's the true messiah Nabi Isa alayhi salam the Jal will impersonate him and therefore since he Nabi Isa alayhi salam when he returns according to the hadith of Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam would be a ruler Hakim and a just ruler Hakim Adil In order for history to end with the triumph of truth over falsehood, the rule of Jesus alayhi salam would have to be, would supersede all other rule in the world. In other words, he has to be the ruling power in the world. There can be no rival to him. In other words, he has to rule the world. And that does not mean he has to rule every square inch of Sai Bajaya, you dum dum. No. <laughs> you become the ruling state in the world when there is no rival who can challenge your authority, your rule. Then you are the ruling state. Not every square inch of downtown Chicago. <coughs> Since Nabi Isa alayhi salam will rule the world according to this hadith of Sahih Bukhari. The Jal, in order to impersonate the true Messiah, would have to rule the world as well. <laughs> okay. And when he has completed his mission of ruling the world, then he will declare, I am the Messiah. And when all these one eyed people accept him as the Messiah, he will then rub his hands and say, Mission accomplished. I have deceived all those dum dums. Hmm? Only then will Allah send back the true Messiah, Nabi Isa, and he will then kill the false Messiah. <coughs>